Hey guys, I thought today we would check in on our feelings. I know this has been a kind of a rough time uh, being isolated from everybody. So sometimes I just like to go ahead and draw myself. I'm gonna draw myself right here, right now, so that I can talk about my feelings to myself. When I draw eyes, I often say, oh, I'm making them really big today. I often say, oh, I'm gonna draw them kind of like a elliptical shape and I'll put some baseballs in it. Another little spot in here. I'm fascinated by African mass, so I will often come up over one side and then bloop, bloop, like a little letter L. It just happens to be the way that I love to draw uh, faces. So maybe I'll go ahead and put that other eyebrow in there. The way that I draw a, a mouth, a lot of people think it's kind of hard to draw a mouth. So if you think of a mouth, mouth begins with the letter M, right? And if I'm happy, or at least maybe calm, we're gonna take that letter M, and normally you would draw an M like that, but I'm gonna stretch it out like it's going up a hill, down a hill, it still looks like an M in there. And then I'm gonna draw a line and another line. So let's try that on the face here. I'm gonna come under here, up a hill, down a hill, up a hill, down a hill, come straight across. And then I'm gonna do a little, like a cereal bowl shape underneath. Next thing I'm gonna do is maybe go ahead and put some ears over here, ears over here, and I can add a neck coming down here and some shoulders coming off, but this lesson today is about feelings. Right now, being isolated, not being able to go to school, to see my friends, to be with my, my teachers and my students and people that I love, it's, um, it's a hard time for me, so I feel kind of left out. Do you feel that way too? So remember I talked before about the watercolor set. So you can see that I've already put some water in my watercolor set. And we're not gonna draw the hair because I have a little surprise with that for you in a minute. I'm gonna put in just the colors that I'm feeling today. Instead of drawing my, my face the way I usually see it, I'm gonna look at this palette and say, what's the one thing I'm definitely feeling? I'm feeling a little lonely. Lonely to me might be purple. I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little purple. And, and if I'm sad and lonely, it might be under my eyes. So I might go ahead and put some purple here. I know I kind of look like a football player, but I just, and maybe that's how I look when I'm wearing a mask when I go out. I don't know. I just kind of feel a little lonely and I, I feel like it's showing in my eyes. So there's that color. Another color I might do, I'm thinking, oh, but I'm also grateful. You know who I'm grateful for? I'm grateful for all the people in the medical field that are there helping people that are sick. I'm thinking about that. So that's the color I'm thinking of, the green scrubs that you often see the hospitals wearing, the, the doctors. I'm also thinking about the colors of... If I'm thinking about all the people that are driving trucks and the police department and the postal service, I'm gonna put a little blue in here for the people that are protecting us. I'm gonna put a little orange in here for the people that are delivering things. There's so many people helping us out right now. So I've got a lot of different colors. These are all the different colors of the feelings I'm having. Yes, I guess if I was honest, I guess if I were honest, I might be a little bit angry. So maybe I'll put some red in here. So I feel like I could maybe blow my top sometimes. Do you ever, have you lost your temper sometimes lately? I might have it, the littlest things. So I might just put, and you can put your colors in wherever you want on your face. This is just how I'm feeling mine today. But at the same time, with all these feelings of lonely, grateful, thinking of people protect and serve and bring us supplies, 
I still can hardly wait to say hello to my friends. So maybe my lips will be a normal happy color. Here's a positive pink. Okay, I can't wait to hear good news. So maybe I'll make my ears that same pink because I can't wait to talk and to hear back from friends. It's okay if my colors are blending. You know else, what else I have? I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for the future. So right up here, I'm gonna put some bright yellow in because I think sunny skies are ahead. So to me, I know it looks like a lot of funny colors and right now it doesn't even look like a person. But these are the feelings that I'm feeling today. And maybe my eyes will be, I do have blue eyes and maybe today I'll go ahead and put a little blue in my eyes, okay? So that might be me looking at you feeling hopeful, a little bit angry, mostly kind of quiet and missing everybody, grateful, appreciative of being able to get groceries, having place protection. All of these things are the things that I'm feeling. But here's one of my favorite parts. Are you ready for this? I'm going to show you is to get the paint nice and wet and do some drops of color. Drops of color. Here's another one. I'm going to do another drop of color here. Okay, and wait till you see, wait till you see how I'm gonna move these around. Do you think I'm gonna use a paintbrush? Or do you think I'm going to use a straw? Let's see how I do. You could even turn it around and go the other way. So that's how I wanted to finish it. So even though I got the colors in my face about all the feelings I was thinking, it kind of made me laugh to put my colors all out there and have my hair look a little wacky. Because I don't know about you guys, but my hair right now is a little wacky. Who else has long hair and they don't know how to fix it? I do. So seeing me put it in my painting made me happy. I hope this makes you happy to express your feelings. Um, that's what art is about. So share this lesson. Go ahead and create it. Work with your family and take care of yourselves. Much love. Bye-bye.